What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash Season 4 video and welcome. So we had an absolute raft of news out of San Diego Comic Con this year for the Flash Season 4 and we've had so, so much stuff. I mean I'm still finding news stories that I missed from shows that I watched like Preacher as well, Legion. And there's so much to actually kind of catch up on. I mean, at least there's content for you lovely subscribers. I want to thank you so much for subscribing. And we hit 5,000 subscribers over Comic Con weekend. What an apt place to put it. And I love you all to bits. Thank you so much. It, I can't, I really, really cannot overestimate how much it means to me that you even just click play. But if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe as you've just found out, is super, super appreciated. But back, back to the Flash. So it's just a few months, it is, it is creeping up. It's really creeping up, the Flash season four. And I thought that, well, I would kind of digest a lot of this news. So I did a Arrow video of a similar ilk, where I actually looked over five things you might have actually missed about the Flash, or sorry, Arrow season six. And now I'm going to bring you one for The Flash, as you seemed to really, really like my Arrow video. So I thought I'd do one for you. I might do one for Legends of Tomorrow. And I also might actually do one for Supergirl as well. And I probably will do one for Black Lightning, because I actually really enjoy making these. They're a lot of fun. But the first thing that you might not actually know is that the leader of Team Flash has changed. You might know that from the trailer that we saw, but we're getting a new leader for Team Flash, and that is Iris West. Now, considering the disappearance of Barry Allen at the end of Season 3, well, we're actually getting a brand new leader, like I said, and that will be Iris West. She will take over everything here at Star Labs, and in the trailer, like I said, it does seem to be like she is tracking everything she's tracking the team and she is comms and it does seem as well like and this isn't confirmed but it looks like cisco is stepping up and he's going to be a hero more this season it, it to me that does what it seems like we saw kid flash in the suit we saw cisco as well with him and he's not in his usual spot of taking over that kind of huge computer desk thing that is at star labs now, a lot of you aren't going to like that. You're not going to like the fact that Iris West is taking over. Personally, I'm not a fan of it just because not that I hate on Iris West. It's more of the fact that it's not really that believable. However, the problem is it does make sense storytelling wise because technically, Caitlin Snow is gone. Uh, we, we're not getting Tom Felton as a season regular. And we are also not going to be getting... A HR Wells so that's not actually going to happen so it does make sense that she does pick up the slack here so to speak so Tom Felton won't actually be returning as a season regular what that means we don't actually know just yet but it is kind of weird because we've got Maggie over on Supergirl who isn't going to be a season regular she is kind of like having multiple episodes so it's really weird that we're not getting Tom Felton, not too sure why, possibly because he is a big actor and maybe they can't afford him or maybe he's not happy with how his character was portrayed. It, it, it's, there's too many variables to actually talk about. Now, season four will have the villain of Clifford DeVoe the Thinker. Now, you, you actually, this is one that you probably do actually know or there's a few of you out there who don't actually know what is going on with the big bad for season four. However, the big bad will actually be the Thinker. So the Thinker was someone who is was actually a Jay Garrick villain originally. And what happened was he had the thinking cap, which allowed him to kind of magnify his mind. and He was incredibly smart. So not too sure how he will be added into this. We saw him fight Barry Allen in the Flash of Two Worlds story, where we saw Jay Garrick and the Flash team up. And that very, very iconic storyline there. So the thinker here, he was actually later on, he's kind of he kind of died, his brain was put in to this sort of matrix world. He then his kind of brain became an AI, and it's really, really cool to see where this will actually go. 
I think that he probably will be someone who is actually kind of grounded. I don't think we're going to get him kind of like see the Matrix style thing here. I think that he can just control people. He's got the mechanic. Here is someone who will be making all of his weapons and his power things there as well. That is a female character who has also been cast. Now next up, the big one here. I actually did a huge video on this early in the week about Caitlyn Snow. And apparently she won't be returning as Killer Frost per se. So it's kind of weird that we won't actually be getting her strictly obviously as Caitlyn Snow, so we're not too sure how she will actually return. And it does seem like she has actually returned as herself, but I expect those Killer Frost powers will manifest later on. Maybe she has found a way to actually control it. However, it's weird that they had that huge kind of thing where Killer Frost walked off, she left Julian, and well, we got him kind of sitting there holding his dick, and he's like, oh, well, she's gone, so what the hell do I actually do now? So. The big mystery here is how she will return and how she will actually use her powers in some way. And maybe has she actually controlled her powers? And we won't see her in that kind of Killer Frost kind of angry personality again. Now, Season 4 will actually start six months after the end of Season 3. And that apparently, as Carlos Valdez said, that he said that I can tell you straight up, it's not good. Six months have passed since the disappearance of Barry Allen and the team is sort of clutching at straws to keep the city together. And though Kid Flash and Vibe are out in the field doing their thing and trying to keep it together, there's a unanimous feeling amongst the remaining members that it's just not the same without Barry. We cannot keep the villains at bay with the same efficiency that he used to. So in that light, Cisco does whatever it takes to get his friends back. So it does seem like from that, he will be returning. It seems like he will be returning in episode two as well. So that is pretty much where we've seen Grant Gustin return seemingly to filming. And the final thing that you might have actually missed is the fact that this season will be more fun. The show's creators have said that the last season is the darkest place they ever actually wanted to go and that this season will be a lot more light-hearted and a lot more fun, which I think is a good thing to be honest. But that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.